Howdy, Possum Patty here, and it is Slow Stitch Sunday, so come on along. This is my little Just Because book, and you make it just because. And we're working on slow stitching, and I've completed two pages. And they both have sort of a similar theme with a flower and a butterfly and a flower and a fly, fly. And buttons and beads, little bits of lace. And then I was thinking about putting a mushroom on this page and the mushroom turned out looking more like a flower. And then I figured I could put a bee and I'll be like, well, that's kind of like three flowers and insects in a row. So why don't I save this for another page? There are plenty of pink pages in this book if I want to do it on the pink. Oh yeah, I was going with the pink and black theme. But I'm just going to put all this stuff together and put it aside because I was digging through the drawer of material and I found this. Now this is a garden flag. And this was gifted to me by Rosa at Sun and Moon Arts. And it's like one that you color yourself, I guess, or you could just leave it black and white. And there's a city and a village and a campground, and it says, let's go. So these pages are not very big, but I got a little house and a little car and a little tree. Or I could put a couple of big houses. So I'm going to do something different on this page. I'm going to cut out a house or two off of this flag. Now some people might get upset because I'm cutting up this flag, but you know, don't worry about it. It's just a canvas flag. It's a really nice piece of canvas. I think it deserves to be used. Okay, let's cut it this way. So as of this moment, I have no idea where this page is going, but that's okay. So something on there. And then it's got these black roads and I was looking for a black kind of border for this page. So I betcha, I betcha, betcha, betcha. Ooh, nice grommet there. Ooh, that would go good on something, right? Part of this road. I might not want it this thick though. I might cut it down. So I cut this really crooked. So I could put this on the edge just to make this page a little wider like I did with this trim over there. I think I'm going to go with it. Bet you this would be fun to paint on. And what do you call this? Canvas, duck cloth, something nice and heavy. I'm going to keep that little bit of a curve at the top. I think the 
cat wants to go out. Oh, it's too big. Okay, I'm going to cut this down. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? But how am I going to sew these on? Do I want to color these? Do I just want to put some stitching on there for color? I don't know how that's going to look. Does it matter? No, we're just doing this just because. Sorry about all that noise. I have a cat banging at the door. I get some thread out. Get some needles out. Okay, so I think the first thing is I want to put this black piece on here. I can't let one cat in because she's picking on the little cat who's trying to eat. And uh, so I brought the little cat in here with her food so she could eat. Now on this pin cushion, I have some needles that already have thread on them. And this looks like light pink. So I'm going to go with light pink. Like I said, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here. Maybe get a pin, hold this down. Okay, if you have any ideas, just shout them out. I should put the pins on this side, shouldn't I? I don't know what I'm doing. I get the pin through the material. Okay, how's that? That's better. Okay. Now, I could just see the problem is what's the problem? You can go up the edge across the top and then maybe just glue the rest maybe 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 my in frame I'm just going to go stitch across here. Oh, while I turn the camera off, I uh, let the little kitty out with the food, and the big kitty's in now because she was banging on the door to come in. So today was flea market day, and I'm going to haul that on Thrifty Thursday. But just as a preview, I did find some material, and I did find some thread and some trim for Slow Stitch Sunday. Maybe I can just glue the rest of this down.
But what I was looking for was material that had some kind of pictures on them. Something that I could have fun with in my little book. And I didn't see anything like that. But then I came home and looked around in the material bin and found a few things. It might be fun to put into the book. Usually at yard sales I find material and things like that, not always at the flea market. And sometimes at yard sales you get a better deal because at the flea market people have to pay for their space. So they've got to get their money back. Prices are a little higher. Although I did find really good bargains on a few things. Stay tuned. You'll see those things on Thursday. Okay, I'm just going to finish stitching up the edge on this and then maybe put a little glue on it. Oops, I didn't ask the slow stitch police if it was okay to put some glue in my book. Well, we'll just have to call this a spirit stitch book because the spirit moved me to glue that down. Oh, I did buy a couple little pieces of material that had pictures on them. Ooh, you're going to see those on Thursday. Speaking of little pictures, where did mine go? Under the thread. Okay, that's cute. I'm just going to put the little car there. So maybe the trees in the background, so that has to go first. So I guess I will do some stitches on there with color. I'm going to add color to the tree. I mean, I could just leave it pink and black and white and gray. I'm going to add color. What looks good on the pink, kind of like this one. All right, give me a moment to thread a needle. So the tree is going to go, I could move it up a little higher, right? Don't have to be right at the bottom. Move it up a little higher. Right about there. No, right about there. Okay, let's see. I could do seed stitches around and leave the black. And that might work. So 
I was trying to learn some new stitches. Uh, I only had, I think, watched, I had watched maybe one or two videos. And I already forgot what they were. So I have to go back and check them out again. So what I'm going to do is just go around. Oops, hang on. A situation here. Got a situation here. Stand by. I must have gone through the thread I already had there. Yep. Okay. Don't lose the house, don't lose the car. Okay, what was I saying before I got into trouble here? The brain, she's a broke. Can't remember. Oh, so I was watching videos on learning new stitches. I remember saying that. I remember not remembering. So maybe this will look like a bunch of little leaves on here. These two got a little too close together, but that's okay. No problem. This is just for fun. Just because I've got all this material and no place to put it. Okay, now that's getting in the way. It's going to take me a couple minutes to do this. I'm just going to sit here and make some leaves on my tree. This painted part is a little bit harder to push through. And the part with no paint. I'm back. Well, that took a little bit of a while. And I put the little seed stitches in. Then I decided to add some black thread to the branches of the tree. I like the texture that that has given that. Now, what to do with the house and the car. I do the house first. And it's going to be a little difficult because it's close to the edge. But not too bad. And I'm not sure what to do here. Should I outline it in black? And then maybe make a red door? or some yellow windows, or a red roof, or something like that. Something like that, be in frame. So for the house, I will start with the black stitches 
and oops, see what happens from there. Maybe I cut the material too close to the edge. I forget how this stuff frays. I think I'm cutting out paper and not material. I need to leave a bigger edge or sew in a little bit more. I'm sewing upside down here. I could sew sideways. Um, let's see, let's just make a run-in stitch. Up the side of the house. And I'm going to put it right inside that black line because I want a little close to the edge with cutting. I'm thinking of what to put in the background. Now I'm going through two layers here because the tree is behind the house. There we go. Now each of the first two pages took me two sessions each. I got it started in one session and finished it in another. So I'll do part of this and then think about what I want to do on the rest. Especially if I start putting colors on. I could do satin stitch on the door, on the windows. Think about something for the roof. I wash the dishes and then I put cream on my hands and then I can't sew. Can't grab the needle. Of course, going through all this canvas is not that easy. I keep saying this, I'm so into making something represent something else. I'm going to have to try to do just a totally abstract page. But I know I'll try to make it look like something. Even when I'm working on my trashy journal, I'm die cutting the trash, right? Painting on the trash. Oh, well, I guess we all have to have our own style. Oh, this is just what I do. I think I'll make the roof a different color. Maybe. 
since I'm going with black and pink, maybe I can make a pink door and a pink roof. And a pink car. I used to drive the pink cars. Not Tupperware. Mary Kay, Mary Kay, cosmetic sales ladies. They were like a district person and they could win a pink car. I'm pretty sure it was Mary Kay. Whatever happened to Mary Kay? Everybody advised me to make blocks and sew them in instead of trying to wrangle with the book. I know I'm going to get out of frame. Hey, let me get this going the other way. started this outlining business when I was working on this blue wing fly over here. Oops, that was the window. You hear banging on the door? One of the kitties wants to come in. You know, they're in the room with Mr. Possum in the other room. I was watching TV. So I closed the door because of the TV noise. And they hear me talking. And they think they need to come in. Well, the tiny one went out and the fat one came in. Well, if this was embroidery class, I would fail because I can't sew on a straight line. But since it's slow stitching, you embrace the wonkiness. Embrace the wonkiness. Okay, let's find pink. Pink, 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 pink. I know I got pink. I know I have pink here somewhere. Pinks are here. And let's see, thinking about maybe making the roof a dark pink and the door maybe this bright pink. And then make a black doorknob, maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, I'm going to save this thread in my thread saver bag for now. I'm sure at some point I'll need just a little bit of black. And you'll be happy to know that I have not broken, I have not broken my thread, my threader yet. I've been using the little hook side to thread the needle. So that's good.
put a knot at the end. And I am going to try a satin stitch. Now I've seen this done two ways. Okay, one just kind of loops back and forth, back and forth. And the other one goes on the same side that you're on. So one of them get started here. Just make a stitch. So one of them would come back to this side and go over back, 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 back. But the other one comes back up on the same side. But you know what? I'm going to do it with this one. So you got to come up close by. Like that. And just go back and forth, back and forth. Sometimes I have a tendency to pull too tight and then it kind of wrinkles the material. Okay, the fat cat is sitting in the corner. I don't know why. She went over to the corner of the room and sat down. Is she waiting for me to call her to come over? I don't know. I think I'll make a black sort of French knot or some kind of knot for the doorknob. Ooh, I could put like pink, pink, pink sequins for the roof. Pink sequins for the roof. That would be different. Have I done sequins yet? I've only done two pages. I should be able to remember. No, I have not used any sequins. So wouldn't that be fun to go dig out some sequins? And do pink sequins for the roof. Here's my pink door. Okay, I'm going to tie that off. Okay, well now I need that little piece of black. So I put it back on the needle so I can make a doorknob right about there. And we're going to go around. And three times and put it back in.
move on through. I was getting hung up on something there. Oh, I like that. How cute. Tie that off, and I'll show you a little closer what it looks like. I make big knots, I don't know why. I should learn to make smaller knots. Oh, this doesn't matter. The side's gonna get all covered up. No problem. No problem. I was looking for that embroidery I did back in the 70s. I know it's around here somewhere. Maybe I could put a piece of that in my book. A little bit of nostalgia. Oh, look at the little house. With a little pink door. I like it. I like it. Okay, you're going to have to give me a couple minutes here. I'm going to dig through this bag of sequins to find these little tiny pink sequins for the roof. Look at that. It's going to be so cute with all those little sequins. Now, how do you sew on sequins? Um, move them out of the way, I guess. I have two different kinds, a larger one and a smaller one. Okay, I'm going to try the knot. So I'm going to stick the thread through. Put it through the sequin. Okay, wrap it around. And put it back through. about that. Now is this going to be too big for the little sequins? Can you see what I'm doing? I'm sorry, i got to get my hand under the material there. I find sewing under the camera very awkward. I like to sew closer. Closer to my body. So let's see, one, two, wrap it around twice, and put it back through. So basically that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put those on and then show you what it looks like. Well, that'll be my start for today. I've got my edge on. Well, first I decided what design I wanted, and then I've got my edge on, and I did my tree, and I worked on my house. And there's my beautiful sequin roof there. Tried to make it like not too perfect. Stitching along the side, I've got my satin door, my little knot doorknob. So I think the only thing I'm going to do to the house, other than what I've already done, is maybe put some yellow in the windows. And then, when I come back, I'm going to do my little car if I haven't lost it. Oh, i got to go find my little car. i put my little car, and now I'm thinking, well, maybe now I need some ground over here under the house. So maybe I'll put something under the house. I'll put my little car, if I can find it. I'm sure it's here somewhere. And then I'm thinking about something for the background. I haven't done any cross-stitching. This one has beads and seed stitching, and this one has beads and running stitches. So maybe the ground will have running stitches. But the sky, I'm 
thinking about maybe just doing little tiny crosses everywhere. Kind of like stars in the sky. Okay, found my car. I think I'm going to take a pin and pin it here so I don't lose it. So I come back to work on this. And so I will do my car. I will finish my house. I will put a ground and I will do the sky. So I just want to thank you for coming along today and happy Slow Stitch Sunday and have fun working in your Just Because book. Bye bye now.